I want to use this opportunity once again to say thank you to Almighty Jehovah, the one and only God, the omnipotent, the omniscient God, the Alpha and Omega. There is none like Him. Hallelujah. There is none like our God. He has brought us this far. I want to say thank you to him. And at the same time, I want to say thank you to Pastor Emeka and the wife for this wonderful opportunity given to me to talk to the children of the Musa. As we all know, that this program started yesterday and when I came to this place yesterday according to the time of the program I begin to unravel some certain things first of all by reading the places where it is found in the Bible that is the five places in the whole Bible where it is found made in the image of the Mozart. Now after reading that, I went further to explain more. Those of you that were here yesterday, I went further to explain the characteristics of the image of God. If you remember that I explained something about language, the ability to talk, Intellect, morality, and I remember that I put the last love, and which is the greatest. And these are the ones that I never touched. I mean, this particular last one is the one I never touched yesterday. And I say I am going to talk about it today. So today we are going to talk about it. Remember, the term is the image of God. Made in the image of God. And I made us to understand yesterday that when we talk about the image of God, we are not talking about the complexion of the skin. Because some of us will say, Jesus is a white man, why should I worship him? And some will say he's a black man because the Bible said so. So it has gone beyond that. The word of God said he made us in his image and in his likeness. In his image is that we look like him. It doesn't matter if you're white or you're black. Let me put it this way. It doesn't matter if you're dark or light skinned. Those are not permanent features on people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But he said, in his likeness, for you to act like him, you are already acting like him when you talk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He talks, that is why he has given you the ability to talk. When you reason, you are already acting like him. When you are able to choose between the good and the bad, you already know. So all these things are the characteristics of the image of God. And the one that it is so wide that we have to talk about today is about the love. Sometimes when we get to this point, we call it essential commodity and we pass. We really do not want to act very well on them. Glory to God. You know, I could remember when I was still very young and there is this preachers that came to our house, I mean to our compound where we lived. And um, they we always gather children to teach them something about the Lord. And I was one of them, even as I'm talking, I still remember. 
praise the Lord. I wasn't wearing anything. I was just wearing my pants and all that, sitting down there listening. Glory. And um, he said to us that we should recite John 3.16, which we did. You know the John 3.16, a popular version. A popular, very common, and very powerful. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. It is not today that this quotation of the Bible got into my head. I was very little when I came across this quotation. I might not really understand deeply what the quotation was talking about, but it got into me, it stopped there. And as time goes on, I begin to understand that there is my anchor. Praise the Lord. For God so loved the world, and he gave his only begotten son. Then I begin to understand how deep his love is. And the ability for us to love is what is the most important thing. But today what is happening, what is really happening to so many, you begin to think about how the people have wronged you. In fact, some of us have decided never to love again because of what? Remember, made in the image of God. Praise the Lord. I want us to read very quickly the book of First John 4 verse 7. We're going to read up to 8. Let's love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God. And knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. Hallelujah. It is crystal clear. Remember, we are talking about one of the characteristics of the image of God. And in us, praise the Lord. Remember, He made you in His image. Verse 8 says, He that loveth not, knoweth not God. Which means, if you don't love, you don't know God. It doesn't matter how you come to the house of God. It doesn't matter how frequent you pray. It doesn't matter how powerful and how you shout when you are praying. It doesn't matter if you hit the wall when you pray. It doesn't matter the kind of phrases you give to him. When you don't love, you don't know God. For God is love. The, in the, the portion where we read here, the, it didn't say that we are practicing love. That God is practicing love. Mm -mm. God himself is what? Love. Created in the image of God. Remember, you are created in the image of God. So, which means if you don't love, the image of God is not in you. And you are not like him. You might say, ah, what about person, that person that I've done to me so and so wrong? You have done to me so much, so many things that <clears throat> it's very hard for me to forgive. Listen, let me tell you. There is something that is um I should break it down. Sometimes when you get me angry, I will say I will treat your fuck up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I complicating? Yes. That doesn't mean I am going to hate you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to judge it and I will keep moving. Even God gets angry when you make it. Praise the Lord. I am created in His image. I'm not going to throw you away because of what you have done. Because God did it to me. So, you say he has hurt you. He has done you so much wrong that it is so impossible for you to forgive. 
Remember, you are the image of God. Romans 5, verse 8, please. We are going to be reading so many places as we have the time to do. Romans 5, verse 8. And later, somebody else, you open 1 John 3, verse 10. We will read. Okay. I don't know. Maybe you don't have much time, but we are going to read another portion to after 5 uh, Romans 5 verse 8 we are going to read 1 John 3 verse 10 are we there? Yes. Hallelujah Romans 5, yes it says, but God commanded his love towards mm. us mm. and that while we were yet sinner mm -hmm. Christ died for us Mom, did you hear that? For those of you that are claiming that the person has done so much wrong that you cannot forgive, the word of God tells us that even when you are still whiling in your sins, he came and he died. He sent his only son to come and die for you. Even when you are still there doing your whatever, he loved you. In not to talk of somebody that have just wronged you and you have refused to forgive. Are we there in First John 3? First John 3, verse 10. We're going to read very long. I hope we're going to have patience for this. Yes. The children of God are manifest. And the children of the devil, who so have not dwelt not righteousness is not of God. Mm -hmm. Neither he that loveth is not his God. Okay, let me go ahead, please. Uh, for, this is the message, for this is the message he had from the beginning mm -hmm. that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was that wicked one, and slay his brother, and therefore slay he him. Because his own work were evil, mm. and his brother is righteous. Mm. Righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Mm. But because we love the brethren, mm. he that loveth not his brother, bided in death. Mm. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer, mm -hmm. and he know that no murderer had eternal life mm. binding in him. Never mm. perceive we the love of God mm. because he laid down his life for us mm. and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Mm. But whosoever has his have this world good and saith his brother have need and slaughtered up his bow mm. of compassion mm. from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? Mm -hmm. My little children, mm. let us not love in the world, neither in tongues, but in deeds and in truth. Mm -hmm. yeah, and hereby we know that we are of the truth, mm -hmm. and shall assure our heart before him. Mm -hmm. For he, our heart, condemn us. God is greater than our heart, mm -hmm. and knoweth all things. Mm -hmm. Beloved, it, 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 if our heart condemn us not, then we we be confident towards God. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of Him because we keep His commandment and do those things that He pleases in His sight. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, my brother. All these things that we are reading, you are seeing them with your eyes. If you cannot read it very fast, please, I would want you to jot it down when you get back to your homes you can go ahead and read it. Somebody might stop you from getting a job. Hallelujah. Most of the wicked things that they do here, they will say, ah, that's what. I will not allow her or I will not allow him to get it. And you become so angry with this person. There is this contract that you are supposed to have. And the person blocks you of having the contract. And you become so angry with this person, not knowing that more you become angry, more you are tying your own self. Praise the Lord. Now, let me tell you something. The word of God already made it clear. He did not say 
wrongs will not come, but it will come. How are you going to handle it? For you to be able to believe your own self. Stop acting as though that person that made you to lose the job is your God. Stop acting as if those people that made you not to get what you're supposed to get regulates your life. They are not the ones regulating your life. The last verse here says something. I mean the last verse when we read in verse 22 he said, And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments. And do those things that are pleasing in his sight. In a nutshell, all the commandments given to us by God, in a nutshell, is called love. Praise the Lord. Because when you love your neighbor, you will not kill him. Hallelujah. When you love your neighbor, you will not see something that is wrong coming to the person and you allow it to happen. When you love your neighbor, you are not going to steal from your neighbor. Praise the Lord. When you love your neighbor, you will do good to your neighbor. So in a nutshell, whatever thing that we have as commandment is included or all inclusive in that word, love. Praise the Lord. And that is why I want to take my time to talk about it. Because it's like that is what we're lacking. And when you are uh, being uh, angry with somebody that has taken away your things or have prevented, prevented you from getting what you ought to have gotten and you are so angry with this person you are not doing yourself any good because that person can never be your God. It is only God that blesses, not human beings. And let me tell you something. When you are right in doing that you should do and that is the word love it doesn't matter what the person do to you you keep loving and God will look into your heart and say my blessings will I release to you praise the Lord praise Master Jesus and the way God releases the blessing the most part the, the most wonderful part of it is that even the person that claims that he or she is your worst enemy the Lord can use that person to bring the blessings closer to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. So you stop acting as if they are the ones that regulate your life. Whatever thing that they have told you that he did, it doesn't matter. Your life is in Christ. And your own part is to keep loving. And you will keep loving. And the doors will keep opening for you. Praise the Lord. And sometimes you wonder, why is it that you have prayed? You fasted. You have done everything that you should do as a Christian. And it's like those doors are still closed against you. You wonder why every other person is making it and you're not. You wonder why you have sown the seed. You wonder why you have done so many things, all the spiritual instructions. You wonder why, why things are still not working. You wonder why. The why here is because of that one person you are still hating. Praise the Lord. I do tell some people that even the devil I don't hate him. What I do for the devil is have pity. Praise the Lord. I have pity on him. Because let me tell you sisters and brothers from the good tree can never come out the one that is not good. I mean from the stream that is sweet. You will always have the sweet coming out of it. But the bitter can never come there to mix it because of one. Praise the Lord. I do tell people that what I have against the devil is pity. You pity him. Praise the Lord. Because the punishment that I'm waiting is too much. So you have to pity him. Glory to God. You have to love. He said the person have dealt with you. Go ahead and love. It's a calling today. And I know after today so many doors will be open to you. When you remember, even as I'm talking to you, the Holy Spirit is ministering to you. That person that you don't want to see with your eyes. Because of so and so that he has done. If you have decided, if you decide today to let go, you are going to see a great change in 
in your life. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. You find out that most of us, they are not even our real enemies. They are even the enemies that we inherited. You said because my mom doesn't talk to this person. So you inherited the enemy. Or you heard what's your what the person did to your friend, your close friend. Because the, the, the person was um, bad to your to your close friend, you decide to take sides. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you hear what I said? You decide to take side. You decide to now join your friend and become enemy with the other person. Hating somebody unnecessarily. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just because you heard, you were not there. Hello. Hallelujah. This one is in this area. It happens so much in our agenda. Women. Hello. Hallelujah. Women. Hallelujah. We are so much sweet in inheriting enemies. Glory to God. The Lord that searches your heart is telling you today, drop it. Drop it. Release yourself. So that your prayers will get to the point where you need to get. So that the things, those things that you feel that you have tried for a very long time is not working. Today, if you try this one, I'm telling you, you will come back here and give testimony. Say it in, in front of Pastor Emeka. Tell him, I've forgiven the person. And this is so and so that happened. If it is indeed the word of God, it will surely come to pass. Because verse 22 said it here. He said, whatever we ask, we receive of him because we've kept the commandment. And what's the commandment? The love. The love. The love. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. So stop acting as if those people regulate your life. But what the Bible say about them, I am going to read it to you. Matthew 5, verse 43 to 45. Matthew. Matthew 5, 43 to 45. Are we there? If your Bible is in is King James Version, you will see that it appears in the red. Which means is our Jesus talking here. Praise the Lord. Matthew 5, 43 to 45. Yes. Hallelujah. It has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemies. But I said unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despisefully use you and persecute you, mm. that ye may be the children of your Father, which is in the heaven. For he hated his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sended way on the just and on the unjust. I feel like speaking in tongues right now. I feel like speaking in tongues right now. Ye have heard it had, it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor. That is in, in the world Moses' time. Glory to God. It is our Jesus talking right now. It's Jesus. So, Moses and Jesus, who is the greater? Or who is the greatest? Is it not Jesus? Jesus said, I know what they said to you. I know that Moses said, An eye for an eye. A tit for a tat. Is that how they say it? If that English is correct. Glory to God. You see, ye have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them, man. Never, sir. Which this wife use you and persecutes you that ye may be the children of your father which means the image of the God father will be upon in you glory to God the image of the father when they look at you they know they see the image of the father in you when they look at you they know of a truth this is the child of the heavenly he said that ye may be the 
children of your father which is in heaven for he maketh his son to rise on the evil praise the Lord because you know some of us if we are actually the one that regulates the son there are so many people who will not allow the son to touch if we are the ones that regulates the rain there are so many that will not allow the, allow the rain to fall in their family you see they must die in hunger because they hate you because they despitefully use you and the word of God tells you here he said that he may be the children of your father which is in heaven he make it his son his son to rise on the evil and on the good and send it rain on the just and on the unjust praise the Lord oh for if you love them which love you what reward have ye do not even the publicans do the same which means what is the difference between you and them you that have the image of the father what is the difference between you and them show the difference tell them that I am the image of the heavenly God show them that you are carrying the presence of God wherever you are tell them that yes I am truly a daughter of Zion and will show them the difference I tell you by the time you keep doing all these things there are so many things you don't have to pray for and you see it come to your doorstep praise the Lord there are so many things that the Christians are suffering today and they ought not to suffer it if you come to the church today brothers are hating brothers sisters are hating sisters they want to see that one here that something bad has happened to you can you imagine we are sitting down here consciously dressed like our father because all of you are looking beautiful and handsome outwardly and you want to do the same evil from the inside glory to God and you say because the person hated you so much and you are He deserves it. Praise the Lord. Don't you know that what you sow is what you reap? When you say that bad thing that have happened to him, that he deserves it, what do you think that is going to happen to you? Praise the Lord. Release yourself today because you are the image of God. You carry the presence of God wherever you are. That doesn't mean you cannot get angry. Let me tell you something. If I had told you to fast for seven days, even dry fasting, so that that thing you are looking for will manifest, won't you do it? You will do it. Some people even fast for 100 days. God searches your heart and sees that this hatred is blocking. He cannot walk down when there is hatred in somebody's heart. Praise the Lord. And you find out that what you went for is only but a whole You did not get what you're supposed to get. You went for a hunger strike. Which means you nothing matter. God forbid the person might end up having us because it was not to the glory of Father. Whatever thing you are doing today, the Holy Spirit is bringing it to your heart. Losing that person that you have tied in your heart for a long time. It could be me, it could be your pastor, it could be any. you people, you need grace. But when it comes to us, the grace is cast. Praise the Lord. It shouldn't be like that because Jesus died for all of us. And every other person can make mistake. Praise the Lord. But after we that mistake, if you leave yourself on the ground, that's where you remain. For the ability to stand up and begin to run like the image of the Father that you are. That is where the action is. Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is wonderful. Amen. Release that person from your heart. Let go. It's hurting you right now. You are even remembering how they how they nearly killed you. But since they did not kill you, 
world and our Jesus came forth and gave us his victory. That is how it is right now to you. Oh, hallelujah. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord, above. Thing that exalts itself higher than 